Hello, Libra, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Thank you so much, Libra, for joining me. I'm super excited to do your tarot reading for this week. So for today's topic, let's have a look at the rest of June, July, and August, you and your person and thoughts. What are they thinking? So we're talking about someone specific. What are they thinking? What are you thinking? What are the big heads up that you need to know, Libra? Let's get straight into it. So we'll be using the Tarot of Owls and also the Spellcasters to clarify this tarot reading. Just a one announcement. If you do wish to learn tarot, our Master Tarot Court is actually on sale with a huge discount. It is 100% online and self-paced. So if you want to learn to read for yourself or for loved ones, doesn't matter your level of experience with tarot, it is there to help you. Okay, let's begin, Libra. Just clearing out the cards. Let's find out for June, July, and August, please. What are they thinking? What is it that you need to know, Libra? Okay. Excellent. Let's cut the cards. One, two, and three. The chariot, beautiful cancer energy. Do not forget with the chariot, it does roll over this month. So we are in June. So towards the end of June, we are in the cancer season. So it goes from June and also July. But this is a really big travel card going towards the future. As you can see, the owl, yep, yeah, they're on the carousel and they're going for it. They're moving forward. Wow, you're moving forward and you're going from strength to strength. Okay. Ten of Wands, okay, maybe a little of nervous energy. Whenever we're taking huge steps in life, yes, of course, it can cause a bit of butterflies, it can cause a bit of um, nervous energy. But of course, yes, keep going and keep your thoughts elevated. Very big, important. Now, there could be a bit of nervous energy between even you and your person, Libra. Five of Swords, it can sometimes show that there is someone that can be a little bit selfish, perhaps. But we also have the Knight of Wands. It's good news traveling your way. Okay, these are good. We're moving towards the future. There could be a, a few bumps along the way, but nothing that you cannot handle, Libra, because you also have the Strength card. The, the deck, we also have the Hanged Man. I have a question for you, Libra. Do you feel that you're not moving forward with your person, that you're feeling stuck? Because something has to give here. Sometimes when the hanged man shows up, we need to adapt, we need to sacrifice or not the necessary changes to move forward. Three of cups, this is good. It's going to be celebrations also. Notice that we have the hanged man, but at the bottom of the deck, it shows that we're moving forward here. Now, the hanged man can even show, are we nervous about something? Are we stressing about something? It's going to be okay. Because even though this owl is suspended upside down, they can free themselves. You can free yourself. So if you're feeling that you're not moving forward, no. You can definitely, definitely move forward, Libra. If it's fears that are holding you back, okay, that's what fears are good at. They keep us idle and they hold us back. Let's have a look. So June. July. August, okay, beautiful, let's have a look at the June cards, King of Pentacles, okay, Eight of Swords, okay, the King of Pentacles, now the King of Pentacles is someone represented by Earth Sign, so think about Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This person is very grounded, very realistic. They consider themselves successful, perhaps. This person, usually the king of pentacles, is someone that's already married, has children. And I can already see here that there is very, um, in other words, with the six of pentacles, um, generosity between the both of you, which is excellent. Really, really good. We also have the eight of swords. Eight of swords, again, that's Gemini energy can also show you, Libra, that you're feeling trapped, that you're feeling, that you are you feeling trapped, Libra? Do you feel like sometimes you 
cannot move because this owl they've got the swords surrounding them, but they're feeling that they cannot move. Think about the hanged man, not moving forward, not moving backwards. They're just suspended in the air. So I'm feeling that there is a bit of a stuck energy, feeling stuck. Don't worry, we're going to clarify these cards also. But the Eight of Swords, I just want to give you a heads up. Libra, this is just a mental card. Our ego is getting in the way here with our thoughts. That's what the, the ego is very good at that. The ego is very good at telling you, no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's absolute rubbish thinking. But it's how we are. It's how we are built, of course. But I do feel that there is a very big generous offer here. This person just being really generous, really um, caring. And yeah, I really want to clarify that card. Let's have a look. Let's continue. Let's have a look at July. What do we have? Oh, the Empress. Nice. Ten of Pentacles. Mm, six of Cups. Now the Empress, believe it or not, huh? the Empress is represented by Taurus and Libra energy. And it's weird. We also have Taurus energy here with the King of Pentacles. So this is already solidifying that this relationship can grow into something amazing. This is showing, especially with the Empress, that the foundation of this relationship is going from strength to strength. Even more, with the Ten of Pentacles, you can have the ultimate dream life. You want that ultimate dream life? You're, and I feel like you, you have a vision in your head, Libra, of what you want your ultimate dream life to be. Yeah, you can have it all. And the Six of Cups. Six of Cups shows that you've got quite past with this relationship, with this person. There's a huge history. You've known this person for quite a while. Do not be surprised if even old friends return from your past because this can always indicate someone from your past returning. The Six of Cups shows also reconciliation, people coming together and just reconciling their differences, putting the past behind. Overall, this is fantastic. If we move on, to August? What do we have for August, please? The Queen of Cups. Nice. The Seven of Wands. The High Priestess. So the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is also about having self-love. Remember to have that self-love. Remember to eat well, to look after yourself, to look after your mental health. The Queen of Cups loves hard too, not afraid to express her emotions. So I would also even say, Libra, don't be afraid. Don't hold back your emotions, what you're feeling, whether it's happiness or sadness, whatever you're feeling, you need to express it. I just want to also remind you with the Queen of Cups, it's important to have strong values and boundaries also. It's good to have them because that's what makes you unique. Your true values are you. That's what makes you you, Libra. And also the Queen of Cups. It can also show someone a little bit older than you, like even a mother, motherly figure. That can also give you really good advice that can help you for something that you need to stand up to yourself, especially with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands for August. If we look at the owl, well, the owl is standing up for themselves. This is showing victory, but it can also mean six against one. A little bit unfair, I'm going to say. So what does that mean? Sometimes it can indicate with the seven of wands, you need to stand up with the things that you love. You need to fight for the things that you love, even if it means putting certain people in their place. So sometimes in relationships, and I do see that I see this a lot when I do personal readings. Sometimes it could be in-laws, colleagues, friends, just sticking their nose into other people's relationships. Yes. When technically they should just mind their own business and leave you, Libra, and your person to be. But I'm seeing this is absolutely wonderful. The high priestess is showing, hmm, Libra. Listen to your intuition. High Priestess is really telling me that there is something that 
you don't know of yet. And I get it. A lot of people don't like the high priestess. I get it. Because the high priest is all about surprises, mystery, secrets, something that you're going to find out later. Sometimes even your spirit team, they don't want you to find out about something that like may happen in the future. So they want to keep it as a surprise. But I still think the high priestess is a fantastic card. It's a major arcana also. And it is showing that you really need to tap into your intuition and really listen to that inner subconscious mind. However, though, this is just a blueprint. Let's find out more, Libra. So I'm going to use the spell casters now. So let's find out more. What else do we need to know in regards to this tarot reading, please? What does Libra need to know? What else does Libra need to know in regards to this tarot reading for June, July, and August 2024, please? One, two, and a three, and you know what to do. Okay, so we do have the three of pentacles. This is good. This is excellent. It shows you, Libra, and your person want to work together. It's shown to, like a team, people supporting each other, people having each other's back. This is awesome. Ah, the Empress has also come out too. Big energy for the Empress, showing that this relationship can grow to a very, very big, stable, strong foundation. Now, we also have the Eight of Swords, too, feeling trapped and imprisoned. The King of Swords, here are you, Libra. The sword is pointing up. A conversation is required. About what? The Hanged Man, again, this has also made an appearance. Something that's making you feel really stuck. But we've got to take that leap of faith. We've got to take that next step. Do it with our eyes closed. Don't question it. Don't analyze it. And wash away all the negativity. We've got the, the star, the north star, the biggest, beautiful destiny card. You've, you've got wishes. You've got really good wishes. You've got a lot of hope, which is fantastic. We need to just let go of the negativity. Okay. I'll split the deck. What else do we have? The emperor. It's time to step up. It's time to make those decisions. This is the ultimate king of kings, all the kings wrapped up in one. We need to lead by example. We need to take action and be that ultimate leader, despite whatever may happen too, whether it's rejection. I feel, Libra, again, there may be some past trauma, perhaps, either with you and your person, but there's something going on in the past. Perhaps between you and your person, perhaps there was a temporary separation perhaps or a, a temporary break perhaps. You've got also temperance. Take things day by day, day by day. Do not be impulsive. Just go with the flow. Let things unfold. The king of pentacles, yeah, see, two of swords. Two of Swords, we need to make a decision. We need to decide. We need to decide something in regards to this person. But we're also afraid of taking the next step. It, we're afraid. There's an overwhelm of emotions here. What else? Can you tell me, please? Yeah. Page of Swords. Hmm. I feel, Libra, there needs to be a conversation. There may be some challenging news, or you may feel like there's something that you want to get off your chest. It can even be your person. I feel like you're even your person. They want to get something off their chest. And it may be a little bit challenging. Challenging news can also be something that's happened in the past. But do welcome it. Welcome these news because it gives you a clearer idea. It gives you closure. You can finally see things for what they are, really. Six of Pentacles. Hmm, okay. We also have the Page of Cups. You're going to receive news in July from this person, a very generous offer. This could also mean, can we meet up? 
I have something I want to tell you. I have something very important I need to share with you. And I feel like this is why you're holding back because you're afraid of meeting up with this person. That's what's happening here. What else? Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords? Okay, this makes so much more sense. We have the Judgment card. Here we go. But yeah, we definitely have an X returning here. That's what's happening here. We have an X out of the blue that's going to contact you. Keep your phone close. And you're going to be, I'm going to say, perhaps a little bit nervous, a little bit hesitant also. But this person has something to say. They're spying on you online because we have the we have the online card. So there could be this person could also be looking at what are you doing online? What are you posting? Are you single? Are you seeing someone? Yeah, they're doing their investigation here. And you're a little bit hesitant. You're not fully, you're not welcoming this person with open arms. I get it. I'm sure you have your reasons. But you will be in a position of power. You're going to be judging this person, how they behave, how they talk. Think of yourself as the judge, the juror, and the executioner, the empress. Mm -hmm. Six of wands, this is showing victory despite the battles, despite the challenges that has happened in the past. You come home winning the war. Six of wands, it's a fantastic card here. It is showing victory. Be careful though, Libra. There could be some people around you that could be jealous also. Because I want to point out something. You've got the six of wands, the seven of wands. When you start to make noise, not everybody will be clapping for you. The same. Just, yeah, keep an eye out for those people that may cause unnecessary trouble. The ten of pentacles. Beautiful. Yeah, you're going to make that decision. Absolutely, with the two of wands, you want that ultimate dream life. And I do feel that you're more than willing to give this person a chance to hear them out and deciding, yes, you know what? Let's let's talk things through. Six of cups. <laughs> now, I mentioned before, someone from your past returning that broke your heart. Here we go. This is making so much more sense now. Three of swords. Now, the three of swords is showing, yep, yeah, there's been tremendous heartbreak. I mean, this card definitely speaks volume. Now, why was there heartbreak? Can I ask you, Libra, was there a third-party intrusion? When I say third-party intrusion, was there someone or something that was intruding, interfering into this relationship? Perhaps family, friends interfering, and another ex interfering into this relationship. I don't know why I'm picking up there is an, there was another ex. Perhaps your person's ex that was interfering into this relationship perhaps there was a secret affair i know you know you know uh libra definitely what was the interference here so they want to come back and they want to talk about this that's what they want to talk about libra this is why you also have the queen of cups you've got strong boundaries now strong values now you're not you're not going to put up with any bs from this person Ten of Wands, yeah. So this came out when I was looking behind the deck. Yes, it can cause a bit of nervousness. It can cause a bit of anxiousness where you're like, okay, this person's coming back into my life. What do they want? And you, you, you may even feel just nervous about the conversation that's going to be have. Yeah. So I'm going to even pull out another card. So you also have the Seven of Swords. What also has happened, there's been um, issues with trust. Because if you look at this card, what is this person doing? They're sneaking out at night while everyone, while, while the wolves are sleeping, this person's sneaking out. So I feel like you're worried in the sense, can I trust this person again? Am I making the wrong decision? That's why the Queen of Cups has come out. It's super important, Libra. Even if you decide to meet up with this person, it is vital that you voice out your values and what you're not willing to tolerate anymore. You've got to really stand your ground here with the Queen of Cups because the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups, uh, a lot of people mistaken the Queen of Cups as someone like, oh, she's all like lovely, dovely, you know, she's really soft, very in tune with her emotions. Wait a second, no. 
Queen of Cups, yeah, she's beautiful and everything, but do not cross her because she will cover her cup. If you notice here, see how this is blocked? Yeah, there are fishes, but you can't see what's inside. So she will block you and reject you if you cross her. So it's a very important aspect of her. The Seven of Wands. Yeah, see? Nine of Swords. Yeah. The Nine of Swords can show that there is a bit of, I feel like even with your person, they're going to be very, very anxious at night. Unable to sleep. Unable to get a good night's rest. Because the Nine of Swords is showing that, as you can see, this person, they're awake at night and they're worried. Absolutely worried. But with the Seven of Wands, yes, there can be uncomfortable topics that may arise. There may be even a situation that they're not resolved yet. But they will be resolved, especially with the Seven of Wands. And it can definitely, I know that this can be can be hard to hear. So I even feel even with you, Libra, you may be awake at night and wondering, am I making the right decision here? Am I making the right decision? The Empress. So what is it that we need to find out? Mm. Let's have a look. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Now, you will find out more stuff. It may even cause disagreements between the both of you. It may cause a bit of debate. And there could be even more than one person involved. Because this relationship should be between just the both of you, Libra. Libra and your person. This king, right? this king right here. But here we have five people. So it could be even other people trying to, again, stick their noses where they shouldn't stick their noses. And sometimes, yes, this can mean finger pointing. There's still a bit of arguments that may arise. However, though, it's all about the commitment something to do with commitment. I feel what your person also wants to do. They want to leave behind the arguments and they want to show you a different side. They want to show you that, hey, I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to take that next step forward. I'm here and I want to show you. I'm going to take out, what do they want? Ultimately, this is what they want. We have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a card of true love. Notice that the cut, the, the cup is pouring out the water here. So yes, there will be an overwhelm of emotions. This person does mean well. They are coming with really good intentions. Absolutely. Why? Because you also have the Knight of Pentacles. It will, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It will take time because we have the Knight of Pentacles. It is the slowest moving night. This person will proceed to, to pursue you, Libra, with caution. They're not going to come in like charging. No, they're going to take their time because they don't want to scare you off because they're also afraid how you might react. But you can definitely trust this knight because the knight of pentacles is someone that's very, um, they're bringing something tangible to the table here. It is the most trusted knight. We also have the five of cups. This person has a lot of regret. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of regret from what's happened in the past. Absolutely. They're, they're full of the sadness. They're full of, you know what? I can't believe I was such a fool how I let this happen. I can't, they're like in disbelief. They're, more than, they're going to be waiting for you with the three of wands. They're going to be waiting. They're going to be very, very patient for you to respond, for you to give them another chance. That's what's happening here. So overall, I will say Libra, especially with this person, and I know there has been a little bit of challenges, especially with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. What I would do, take the advice of the Queen of Cups. Don't be afraid to rock the boat. Express the things that you're not willing to tolerate anymore. Really stand your ground. And if you need to, take this relationship slowly because, yeah, this this person, hmm, and I get it, they've done a bit of a number on you. There has been issues. All of a sudden, we've got the judgment card. They decided to return. Just want to also point out the judgment card 
speeds up the pace. So this is going to happen, I'm not saying tomorrow, but it's going to happen a lot sooner than what you think. And they have a lot of explaining to do. Absolutely. They do. They have a lot to explain. They need to really explain themselves. But they want to show you that they have changed. They want to show you that they have, ultimately they have changed. And I do feel with the high priestess, you're going to be really taking in your intuition with this person. That's what you are doing. And I would actually take this really, really slow and see how it unfolds. Still good reading. Thank you very much, Libra, for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.